Hello, everybody. We are back on Ro uh, no, not it's Roblox, <laughs> Minecraft, because uh, we are at the campfire telling each other scary stories at the campfire for Halloween. 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 Uh. Ow! Ah! I tried to summon some lightning, but that just ended up putting me on fire. Ow! 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 Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah. I was just trying to light up a little, like. A lightning bolt, but that didn't really work. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you my story. Now. Cool, scary okay. story time. Yep, this one is about an evil old man. The man was so evil he could turn himself into a snarling, clawing monster just by concentrating on being evil. His name was Evil Boris, but everyone just called him evil. Everyone was afraid of him. Every night, Evil Boris would take a walk around town and do something evil. He liked to step on cats. Some nights he picked up big metal trash cans and poured garbage out to people's cards. He crushed, no wait, not cards, cars. He crushed birds in his bare hand. He liked to smash windows of, on houses just to hear the crackling get glass sound. And, and guess what else? I don't know, what else? Once a week, he ate someone. Ew. He ate people. He only ate kids. Oh, phew, he just liked kids. to taste them first. Hey! He liked to taste them first. Sometimes he'd start by chewing on an arm. Sometimes he he started with a leg. And the strange, but the strange thing is, Evil Boris always saved the head for last. Gross. And the scary part is, he lives in your closet. No, he oh, doesn't. No. no, he doesn't. Please no. But don't worry, he only eats kids. So I'm just kidding. Oh. That was a scary story that I told you. Goodness, you're just kidding. I'd never want to go in my closet to get my clothes ever again. No, you can. It was oh. just a made-up story. That's good. <laughs> but yeah, remember the last episode I set up these little logs and then a campfire. Awesome story. One. Okay, so I just went in third person. That's why I paused. And it's time for the scary campfire story that we're that almost seventy-three is going to tell. And yeah, is he good of cool, mom? She's not actually going to tell a story. I'm too scared. Okay, you guys so, ready? Yeah. Yes, yes, All right. yes. This is my scary campfire story. So, one lonely morning, I woke up to play fetch with my dog. But he wasn't there. He wasn't using the toilet. He wasn't in my room. He wasn't anywhere he normally is. He was in the bathroom that I use. He was barking at the sink for, for some reason. So I picked him up and I asked why he was barking. And I put him down and opened the sink and I saw it. Nothing! He was barking at nothing. In the middle of the day, I made lunch and I said... Two, four, six, eight, dig in, don't wait. Before eating, then I picked up my sandwich. But before I could take a bite, I heard a barking. So I went and I checked the bathroom I use, and my dog was barking again. So I looked in it again, and this time there was a cat, a black cat. But that meant bad luck for anyone who saw it. But I got scared and jumped out the window. So I said, I wish I could have a cat, because they're the best animal ever. But they're too expensive, so I can only get a dog. Then oh, I wow, this is a weird view. Then I ate my sandwich. Then I decided to watch Nicky, Ricky, Dicky, and Don. It was getting close to nighttime now, so I went to McDonald's, drove home, and watched Horde Henry. Suddenly, the lights went out. So I went to my room, and I heard a whining from a dog coming from the basement. So I quickly grabbed a flashlight and ran to the basement. Suddenly, I heard a terrible sound, munching. Not regular munching, the kind in movies. Scary movies. I got really scared. <clears throat> but it went away, and I saw a monster. It was holding a tail. My dog's tail! I got so scared, I dropped my flashlight. The monster I'm turned dancing. around and saw me. I I'm ran up dancing. the stairs, and I tripped Not on a rat. even on the wood. That's yeah. Really, that's really Sorry. Story. That's my story. Sorry. The monster turned and saw me, so I ran up the stairs. I tripped on a rat, and it bit me. Did I, I see a bat? I saw a rat. I had no time to worry about that now, so I ran upstairs to the second floor where my room is, and I hid under the bed, hoping it wouldn't find me, but it found me and ate me. The end. Let's all clap. Good scary story, right almost. Now. Good story, almost. Okay, so, thank you so much for watching the Scary Campfire Story Halloween special video. Oh, look at that. Did you see it? Look at the bat. There's a bat over there. Awesome. Oh, I saw no, it. And there's an egg on the roof. Egg. Yeah. Look at the bat. Okay, it's gone.
keeps flying around everywhere. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. If you really liked it, please subscribe. Have a great day. And yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.